Hello Aries, <clears throat> welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well, wherever you are. This is your reading for the 15th through to the 22nd of February 2022, or thereabouts. It could resonate a little bit beyond that time. But it's a general reading, Aries, so it won't resonate with everybody, but it certainly will with some. Um, so take what resonates with you, Aries, and, and leave leave the rest behind. But let's see, shall we? The energies focus on, on <clears throat> particular situations, particular energies um, within the star signs. All right, so let's see. Starting with the Oracle of Visions, we'll get a couple of uh, overall energies for you. <clears throat> Too many there. Right, what do we have for Aries, please, at this time? What's important for Aries? All right, well, we've had one that's jumped out. I will put it back in again, but it's number 15. And this talks about farewells, goodbyes, closure, perhaps. But I'll just pop it back in and we'll see. Right, Aries, we have number <clears throat> 13, and this is about productivity, um, control, organisation, uh, creativity, being productive, uh, but being in control also. All right, so we'll see where that fits in in a little, in a minute. And here it is again, this is, this is what jumped out earlier, uh, but here it is again, so something, some, some form of closure here, possible goodbyes. So we'll get into the Gilded Tarot now and uh, see what the energies want to say to you at this time. So what's important for Aries to consider at this time? What's important for Aries to consider at this time? What's the important message for Aries? Okay, um, we have the Hermit. And so this is going within, taking time out, going within to get the answers, to find uh, a way forward, to find the right path to go forward for yourself. I'll just pop him back in, a bit more of a shuffle. There's too many there. <clears throat> At the heart of your reading, Aries, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward, and then something else your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Five of Cups. Um, this is being sad, it's just a lot of sadness in this card, but being preoccupied with something that's gone, something that's lost, a sense of loss. But being so preoccupied with what's gone that you're not able to see the opportunities that are waiting for you. Something new, um, promising bun abundance and growth, new opportunities. Um, it may be a sense of regret also, a regret to do with something here. So I'll just put that to one side. And we'll get some clarifiers now. using the Light Seers Tarot. So could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please? For Aries. Can clarify all the cards on the table for Aries.
Right, at the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Wands. And this is um, a new idea. There's a, there's a spark of an interest of something here. Something new, um, a new opportunity perhaps that you're just thinking about or just starting to see or getting an idea about. But it's something very creative, right? So I'll just put that to one side. All right, we have quite a combination of energies here. So we'll, we'll uh, all being well, I'll be able to bring them all together for you, um, Aries. So at the heart of your reading, okay, we have the Four of Cups now and we have the Ten of Swords. Um, the Four of Cups, this is your lead card right at the heart of your reading. And this is an opportunity. This is something being offered um, that you are aware of. Maybe you're considering but not ready to do anything about it. And it's because you're having to walk away from a very painful and difficult situation. Um, and, and the only way that this difficult situation can ease for you is to either mentally, emotionally or physically or a combination of all three um, move on from it. Um, and that's why it's difficult to accept something new coming in at this time. And you can see how that's linked here with the Five of Cups, you know, grieving over over a loss. Even though with the two cups at the back, and there it is, there's the cup being offered. So the cups are there, but you're um, obviously caught up in this uh, a very uh, low low energy at the moment. Having to walk away or leave in some capacity, uh, a painful situation. So what's at the root of this? Okay, we've got the Seven of Cups and then we've got the Tower. Um, at the root of this is uh, choices, options. There was a lot of options there. Some of them were mirages. Um, and it's, you know, difficult to see the wood for the trees, really, when you get so many things that you, you feel are opportunities, um, where you've got to uh, choose one, um, what you know, the right one for you, or they could all be illusions, you know, it, it's that sort of an energy. And the clarifier is the tower, so, you know, and the tower is very much about something coming to being erased, something coming to the ground, going kind of crash into the ground. Um, we build many towers through our lives, and some are built to last and some aren't. Um, and this one, whatever it was, um, wasn't built to last. It, it was crumbling already, and I feel the universe sent a bolt of lightning down to raise it to the ground, to say enough is enough, you know. But nevertheless, whatever the reason, whatever it was, it would have been a bit of a shock for you. Um, but the thing is with the tower, you know, in the future, looking back, you'll see perhaps why this particular tower had to um, be brought down to the ground. Um, and it's to do with what you felt were real options and choices. But I feel, you know, they either were all a mirage, unreal, or the one that you actually went for created the start of this tower coming down. So take a tight resonates with you, Aries. Okay, what are the past influences? Well, we have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups again. So, of course, we've got the Seven of Cups twice now, both in the past position. And... The Two of Wands, this is when you came to a fork in the road, you know, on, on the journey you were on, you had to... The, 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 the path you were walking, you couldn't just carry on with it. it. You'd got to make a decision of which way you were going to go. The, the, the path had split, um, so you couldn't carry on in the same way. So that you came to that need to make a decision in the past, and it was to do with, again, the Seven of Cups. So 
deciding which way to go, but not, you know, just not being sure. And when there's lots of options, it's difficult to know which is the right one for you, isn't it? And sometimes the one that stands out from the crowd that we think that's the one, you know, in this depiction, it's got a snake under it, so it wouldn't be the right one. So that's where why it's difficult to choose. So it's something difficult to choose um, a direction to go, and that's in the, the past. Hmm. So I can see here, so there's some form of goodbye, some form of closure going on here. A need for closure. But we've also got productivity, control, organisation. So let's see where that's going to fit in. Because of course we have had the Ace of Wands, which is a, a, a germ, ger, an idea germinating here. Some form of a creative endeavour. So, OK, let's see what's on your mind at the moment. Um, Aries, we've got the Two of Swords and we've got the Six of Swords. So this is need to make a difficult decision, but it's difficult to look at it. So, But there's a decision to be made here. Um, but it's a difficult one, difficult one to look at. And it's to do with moving on, it's to do with leaving... A troubling situation and moving on to dry ground calmer waters and then dry ground being led by spirit here also um, and that's probably why it's it's a difficult one this is a difficult decision to make moving on so if we look at the four cards across the top here um, an opportunity in the offing here being offered but it means making a decision and this is a difficult one this is a difficult decision to make because that decision involves leaving somewhere and moving on and moving on towards some form of new creative idea or new creative opportunity But I can see we've had a tower moment, so you know that's it's, that can be very difficult. That would have come in, come out of the blue, something completing, something finishing, ending to whatever capacity. Um, and it was due with unreal op opportunities that appeared real, but perhaps were a mirage. They weren't really there. Um, or it could be that, you know, you, you did go for one, that, but it wasn't the right one and, and that brought the tower down. Um, but then having to make a decision, you know, coming to the end of the road you were on and, and then having to decide which, which way to go. And again, having to make that decision, which is difficult. And it's difficult when you are feeling this sense of loss, sense of sadness, difficult to see the opportunities that are waiting while you're in the energy of having to leave um, move away from a, a difficult situation but let's see going forward what have we got okay we've got the Empress and we've got the five of Pentacles and the Empress is very much about expansion growth new opportunities um, fertility even um, the Empress embodies all the positive qualities of, of all the queens in the Minor Arcana. Um, so very much at the top of the game. Very feminine energy, although it's not gender specific. So going forward, you've got the beautiful Empress energy, which is a major Arcana. So it's a significant energy. Growth and abundance. But, but the problem here is that you are in this Five of Pentacles energy. Um, it should be difficult for you to difficult for you to lift your head up to see the opportunity the Empress are bring, is bringing in um, because the Five of Pentacles is as feeling out in the cold a sense of lack and isolation so feeling lonely um, it's a very sort of a, a low energy um, and, and it's difficult you see the young woman she has her head down she's not going to be able to see at this time 
the opportunities um, that are around. Um, but it won't last. It, you know, this energy doesn't last. The good news here is that you have the Empress energy going to be around you going forward. Now, what would your guides like to say to you? Aries, we have the Hanging Man and we have the Moon. On the Hanging Man, this is when things have come to a standstill. A creating a limited perspective. Uh, so it's difficult. Um, not knowing how to get to go to move move on, to move forward. Because things are hanging in the balance perhaps. Uh, and it's because there's a lack of clarity. There's a lack of clarity to do with this situation. Things aren't clear. You're sort of able to see a little bit, but it, it's blurred. It's the, you, the vision of it isn't clear. And that's because things have come to a standstill. Things are a bit stuck. But... Okay, so that's whoever this is for. That's that's where you're at currently. But the good news is here we've got the Ace of Wands on the table. So this there's something germinating, a new idea, a new opportunity germinating here. There's an offering here, and I feel it's a universal opportunity, universal offering here. You know, we have um, productivity, control, organisation, very productive. Um, energy here, very productive opportunity. So we have amongst with the, I can see there's a low energy here that you're feeling stuck and, and recovering from a difficult, painful situation. A sense, I can see a sense of loss here, you know, because of choices made, decisions made in the past, perhaps. You know, um, and so I can see that and it's left you feeling stuck, you know, no movement, limited perspective on things and lack of clarity. But there are positive energies here on the table. So once you are able, as these swords are lifting, you know, as you're able to lift your head, Aries, and see the possibilities around, um, and I feel that's going to help to bring in a sense of closure. All right, get two, could we have two final messages for Aries, please, to complete this reading? Two final messages for Aries, please, to complete this reading. Aries we have rejuvenating rain so clear the past to heal the present so that links in quite strongly I want to say it links in quite strongly with the rest of the messages on the table here a need to let go of the past a need for closure and that's going to heal the present for you um, and yes we've got healing we've got mystic healer here so Lots of healing ready to come down for you. And, and healing energy is going to flow through you. And as you are filling up with this healing energy, it's going to go through you and, and other people around you are going to feel feel that healing, feel the change, see the difference um, within you and around you, Aries. So beautiful. I feel the universe has got your back here. All right. Aries, whoever this is for, and it won't be for everybody, but whoever the reading's for, um, I do hope you've enjoyed this reading, that it's given you some clarity and support with your situation. 
But good luck going forward, and until next time, bye-bye for now.